Boys, welcome back again. So Nick and I have been watching too much YouTube and we came across a guy called Bobby McBoost who made one of those turbo burn barrels using just wood. And like a turbo and creates a bit of boost and a bit of thrust. Makes a hyper racket, glows red, and we thought we need to have one. So we've gone and collected ourselves an old air tank and we ripped off all the uh, motor and electric motor and stuff off it. We've got an old TDO4 here and we thought we can mount that. So we can mount that somewhere on the front there but we do have something bigger so we thought we would uh, use this for a size comparison and here we have an ebay gt45 that we will mount somewhere there we need to make a little panel somewhere where we can um maybe just do it straight in the side there yeah like load the firewood in. where we can load the firewood in so sick man ebay one or oh, i've got no idea where it came from but i spent on the shelf you explain what that's for so kind of going to be working with the wastegate so we'll sit it here and feed the rest of it into the dump to hope that that creates like an extra after burning effect increasing thrust and efficiency we are going to start a fire yeah probably <laughs> So that pipe's not actually going to do anything, but I'm a bit worried that when this glows red that the turbo is going to lay over because there's a bit of weight in that GD45. So we've got a bit of scrap there, we can just put it on the side and... Make a bit of support or something. A bit of support. That end to cool the pipe. It's going to be hectic yellow. Hey, it's going to be good, eh? So that's pretty much our intake pipe, isn't it? Yeah, so wow. I'm just going to have to like cut it here somewhere and then put the 90 on and then chop a big hole out here tack it all together and then Sick. pretty much wood burner is going to be cranking we blow the air blower in the front here pushes wind through cranks the fire up starts making pressure spins the rehousing up we're going to make some boost so this is pretty much an intercooler pipe with no intercooler just going to be feeding um fresh air into the fire pit yeah as long as it's like it'll, it'll look nice if it's straight and nick's found a bit of four inch pipe now for the dump for the thruster we'll polish it up so it's nice okay, safety gogs oh sick that's it what about the metal bit that's in there Oh, that's alright, we're going to have to cut a big oh, section yeah, out right. the side anyway, so... That's a really good point. What's stopping all these stickers and stuff on the side just combusting? They will. They'll It'll be alright though, It'll, be right. It'll burn out pretty quick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We've only been watching videos, we don't even know what's going to happen. Yeah. Yeah, watch, we talk about running this up and just having a restricted first go, but I bet you one of us is going to go... Whoa! <laughs> He's giving him some, some time to run away. <laughs> and just let it be a runaway. Yeah. Um, everyone get out of the way. Well, we got the piping all done. She's all welded on there and sealed up tight. So pretty much now, oiling system. And just a, yeah, just a hole to put like firewood in or something. Need to cut a big hole so we can put the firewood in there. We figured we're gonna do it on the top here where it's flat. It'll be easy to use like a bit of 10 mil plate rather than trying to wrap something around the outside. It might not seal as well. Just we'll have to fill in the inside of this. So we'll go with that. And then we can make it into like a bit of a barbecue plate. So then, we're not making a fire because there's a total fire ban, but you're allowed a fire in a barbecue. Yeah. This is our fire barbecue. Yeah, it'll be the turbo Q.
trying to get oil to the turbo because we don't have an oil pump from an engine to feed it. So we've got a couple different ideas here. First, we've got just a fuel pump to see if it'll actually pump any kind of oil up. Alrighty, so fuel pump, fire up. Um, it's on. Yeah, fuel pump's pumping. Not looking good. Tiny, oh. tiny drops of oil. Nothing really. All right, that didn't work at all. I'll just put that on the ground in case it can get oil leaks. All right, so this is submersible. So we just submerse it in the oil somehow. Plug it into a power point. The problem with this, as soon as you block it, there's no pressure. There's no pressure there at all. So if you even put a little bit of hose on top of that. So if, I'll try see if I can actually get a bit of hose on there. Not really, eh? No, no, no. So, last but not least, mechanical oil pump, bro. But I think this is going to have a lot more power than the previous ones, so we'll see. Ah, yeah. Okay. Um, we're running out of oil here, but. Oh! Ah, uh, there's plenty of pressure oh, in there. we got pressure in that. Just remove the plate out of the burn barrel. This is where we can feed the wood in. And we've got this neat bit of 10 mil plate here, which is gonna be um, what we put back on the top to keep the pressure in there. All right, boys, we've got everything sorted. We just fabbed up a plate here and got some countersunk holes there. Hold that bad girl down. Start the fire first, put the plate on. And now Nick's rigged up the oiling system. This is our little reservoir here that'll be full of engine oil, which then goes to a drill, a Bunnings oil pump. It's like a water pump. <coughs> Dash six oil feed, which is usually way too big, but we uh, need to make this work. And then we just got a Dash 10 drain. We are ready to go. We are ready for liftoff. I need to transport this out to my place now. Well, I just thought about it. You said the Dash six feeding's too big. But that's the size hole that was on that turbo. So it's probably sick. It's made for it. It's made for it. All right, sweet, let's go. Does it just start or does it make it turn it start? Pull the, pull the choke up. Where's that, that oh, one? Yep. Ha <laughs> ha 
are hot. Keep it going. Yeah, I know, but that's so no hot. For what? Whatever's going on in that That's fucking insane. I was about to run that one. I'm like, give me the plate, give me the plate. That's scary shit. That was it. That was about to go away. It was going. No, that's nothing yet. No, but it started to spool up before I grabbed the plate and put it on the front. I think. I think another good thing to do would have something that, like Matthew was saying, like having a wastegate to at least. You yeah, know. well, I was saying we should put a wastegate on the intercooler piping and feed it into well, the even dump. Something on the vessel. <laughs> yeah, because if you put a wastegate on the piping into the dump, you can regulate boost. Yeah, but at least you put 10 pound spring in it. Yeah, you can. It's yeah. not going to destroy that tank. I mean, uh, that tank leaks go beside you. It's going to take a leg off. We want, How's the sparks flying out of the tank? We want 90 pound. <laughs> We want both. It's not going to help whatsoever, right? I'll turn the pump off. It is still spinning. That was insane. But scary insane to be standing next to it. Where's your blank off? I thought you were fucking doing up a couple there. Steve. I just used that bit of wood there, mate. But I think, yeah, a few safety issues that way then. You could just step back and let it go. Yeah, well, the waste gate. And then after that, go from a 10 pound spring to something better, you know? <laughs> Um, everyone get out of the way. What was that? I just let it go away. Is that still spinning? Surely it just not. sounds so wrong, doesn't it? God, that was so loud when I was next to it. Go Nick, pull it off! Huh? Pull it off! He's giving him some, some time to run away. Oh Nick, come look at the turbo wheel. Oh yeah. Oh Kai, come have a look at the wheel on it. <laughs> you got good AFRs? Yeah. She's a bit lean on it. Fucking hell. Oh, is there even a wheel in there? You can't even see it. Okay, so the, the hose is an issue. That turbo's in mint condition. It, it, um, Sell it now. That's going straight <laughs> onto the 7M. When, when, you put the, when you put the plate on the front, Matt reckons it's pulling heaps of vacuum, which makes sense. Because um, it's pulling oil into the front of the turbo. Yep. How's the back look, mate? 